Unreal farming has become really popular lately. There's so many mods that'll help you speed things up or build something super crazy. Now, I just want to go high level over the basic categories of what we have in the Unreal genre these days. And I'm going to link everything in the descriptions as well in case you're interested in downloading them. We're going to go ahead and we'll start over here on the left hand side where I've planted the harvesters. There's the Colossus Harvester now, which will hold hundreds of thousands of liters. It'll operate at 43 miles per hour while harvesting with this massive header. And you can do it on console or PC, doesn't matter. You also have these gigantic headers. Now this header here is the John Deere header. This will allow you to harvest at over 18 meters at normal speed. You have the Colossus and Sugar Beet and Potato variant, which will do the same 43 mile per hour. And that'll allow you to harvest sugar beets super quickly and to store them in this massive tank that I can't jump to. Massive tank back here, which holds hundreds of thousands of liters. Next up, we have cotton harvesters. Cotton harvesters that will do advanced widths, so it'll do almost triple the base game width. We have uh, the tool height control mod that allows you to basically operate any uh, harvester at the max speed of the harvester itself, not of the tool, because it doesn't actually lower the tool to the ground. We have this harvester header here as well, which will go additional speeds and has additional widths. We have the poplar and sugarcane forage harvester headers. You don't have to use those pieces of equipment. You can just buy these and go at whatever operating speed you want to and just put it into whatever trailer. We have the Kubota pack, which gives you these sprayers that have the capability of having over 10,000 liters in each in an unreal capacity. We now have these as planters. These planters allow us to plant pretty much any crop on this one and at ridiculous widths on this one. We have uh, this Kubota uh, cedar and planter that allow us to hold 10,000 liters as well. We have this planter here, which has an increased capacity. And this one will allow us to uh, plant every crop as well. So to show you real quick, this is the custom multi-fruit. And this thing will hold 20,000 liters and we'll plant anything. Yeah, it's only 4.5 meters wide, but you never have to refill. And so if you set a worker or something, it's just gonna go do what you need it to do. We have uh, an advanced sugar cane planter here that will hold uh, 25,000 liters as well. So this is pretty massive. Going behind that, we've got some fertilizer and lime spreaders that are massive capacities and widths. This Amazon right here is 42 meters working with and 10,000 liters. This thing will do multiple fields, no problem. We have the 82 Studios lime spreader here as well. This has a uh, 6,000 or up to 25,000 liter variant. Yeah, it only does 24 meters, but you're never gonna have to really re refill it. So that's fantastic. These rollers here are the base game rollers that have been modified to allow you to switch them between multiple different types. So if you're already in the field, you don't have to bring multiple things out. You can just switch the roller to, if I can actually pick up the control here. All right, you're just gonna have to believe me on that. You can switch them between a field roller, a field mulcher, or a grass roller and you can do that on the fly. Here we have a ginormous cultivator, which doubles as a subsoiler. This is the largest that you can possibly get in the game for a cultivator. Um, it was in 19, it was brought forward. So this thing is a monster. And you only need to have a tow hitch to pull it. This one here has a working width of just pretty much ridiculous. Um, this is over 24 meters. I believe it's 26 meters. This thing unfolds. The only negative to these two is they are a little hard to transport, but if you put them sideways on a trailer, 
you can plow most fields in one or two passes. The TLX stuff, the uh, Winter Wolf from 82 Studios, this thing is a beast on its own because it comes with two winches. But did you know that you can get these ridiculous capacity, over 100,000 liter uh, tank for the back of it? So you can bring bulk materials with this. You also get over 150,000 liter spreader here. Yeah, it's only 24 meter working width, but 150,000 liters. You'll never have to refill this thing. The liftable bale mod, which is what this thing comes from, allows you to set adjustable bale capacities and you can pick up the bales by hand because they have no weight to them. This works like many of these on console as well and will allow you to basically bale a lot quicker and to pick them up and just put them in the back of whatever vehicle that you want to. Let's go back over here. We've got the TLX tank. This tank here hold over 200,000 liters of fluid. Any fluid that you want. You've got the modified Big M with PTO and hitch in the back, so you can do everything in one pass with this. So you could be driving this thing, mowing the fields, and tow a baler with you at the same time. Super fast way to speed up. Over here you've got the sugar beet harvesting uh, mother bin. So this thing will add the ability to hold sugar beets to uh, all auger bins. And so not just the mother bin, but all of them, but also when you pour them out, when you pour out the sugar beets out of this, it will cut them. So you don't even have to cut them and just come cut straight out of this. This hiding in the corner is the road runner. This thing can have rainbow exhaust coming out of it. You can see we've got the pink on there right now. It's also got over 2,000 horsepower. Pretty beastly. We've got, actually I'll come back over here first. We've got several other TLX uh, vehicles. We've got the Superliner, the Phoenix. Actually we have two Phoenixes. Now, not only are these ridiculously high powered and will tow anything in the game, but if you get the Rigid X2 body, you can get these beds for them. And this bed here hold almost 200,000 liters in it. For 100,000 liters in this tank here. This is the largest possible uh, feed mixer that you can get. This here will hold pallets, unreal capacity of pallets. The way it works is actually wild. What it does is it will turn the pallets into a different visible holding platform and then store them. It compresses them and stores them all in place. It's fantastic. This 53 foot auto load trailer comes in three variants. You can get it just to auto load every single pallet in the game in bales. You can get it with a ridiculously large capacity tank or a bulk trailer. And you can switch it at any time between them too. So as you need, so you really only need one of them and you just switch the versions of them. These container mods hold ridiculously, ridiculously large capacities as well on them. They'll hold, uh, over, it says, it says it's only 64,000 liters on it, but actually it's much more. So this thing will actually hold in an unreal capacity, 250,000 liters. As will this, this will hold any crop that you can pour into it, and this will too. The only difference between these is this is the PC version uh, here in the gray that can have like custom branding that's not on console. Um, here we have the two 82 Studios big bags. Now what these things do is you can either put grain in them or you can put pallets in them. They have a capacity of 200,000 liters and you can pick them up without super strength. So you can just pick them up and move them around. Um, and so you can just put them at your production facility and let them fill up and then just pick up the pallet and bring it to wherever you want. This tank here uh, has a it doesn't look like it, but it has a ridiculous capacity of 300,000 liters bulk material. These are the TARDIS trailers from Omatana. These things are fantastic. They hold 200,000 liters. They'll hook up to anything. So you can hook up a uh, forage harvester to these. Even if the forage harvester doesn't look like it has a trailer hitch, it can hook up to this. And you can fill this thing up to 200,000 liters. This one here is a uh, 
a wagon. So this will actually pick up grass off the field as well. It also has silage tanks, so it can hold silage additive. And this thing also has 200,000 uh, liter capacity. This little itty bitty trailer here is 300,000 liter capacity. Can be pulled by any tractor. Weight also doesn't increase like many of these. You've got the TLX enclosed trailer here. This will auto load pallets, very similar to some of the other TLX stuff I was showing before. Um, does it in a really cool visible way. Uh, I, I always use this thing with the Kubota stuff on the side because I just think it's just beautiful. This is the scissor trailer. This also has a 300,000 liter capacity and will hold bulk materials. This will also unload in a really cool way where it kind of just drops the whole top off of it. Fantastic mod. We have the TLX Tipper. Um, this thing will hold over 200,000 liters, I believe it's 250,000 liters of bulk material. And it comes with a trailer hitch on the back so you can actually load up even more on, so you could do a train of them rather. We have this Wilson trailer here, this just came out. This has a capacity of 500,000 liters amongst two grain tanks. You have the silage boss, which by default has a just you know just a regular capacity, but if you get the unreal capacity on the silage boss, it's no longer just silage. You can actually put bulk materials in it. It's got over 200,000 liter capacity as well. Then you've got the underbelly, and the underbelly um, has a ridiculous capacity as well, and it has multiple tanks. So if that's what you're into, you can have multiple tanks, and you can have another trailer towed behind it so you can have a train of those. Uh, over here, this next row, we've got the 82 Studios little mower. This mower, although it has a, uh, it looks small, it is a zero turn mower, so it's really great in the field. And it comes with this possible tank, which allows you to have an inflated capacity of over 5,000 liters, which is a lot for a lawn mower. So on some maps where you're just doing lawn mowing, um, around the house or if you're just starting out, it's really cheap. So it can be a good start. The 82 Studios uh, trailer here, these are two variants of the same trailer mod. This one here has 182,000 liter capacity and you can tow it with a pickup truck. So if you're running with just a pickup truck, this is the way to go. Because you can just use this for almost anything. Uh, so imagine the Colossus and this thing here, you're good to go. You're not gonna have many trips to unload and you're not really gonna have to chase the harvester around. This one auto loads pallets, the flatbed ver version. So it'll auto load most base game pallets and you can get a winch on it too. So if you have the uh, platinum DLC, that's a winch that works and you can drag trees onto this. Use that in my Lamborghini video. They have a uh, versatile version which comes with up to a 50 foot uh, length. And this one will also auto load pallets and bales as well. This thing is a monster. Here we have this little thing. This thing looks really funny, um, but this little thing can actually do, and I wanna get the capacity right on this one because I was shocked by it. So let's just go over here to uh, animals. The Sadie, this has a, a hundred, thousand liter capacity on this little thing so the Sadie is able to you can you can change all the styles and everything along those lines but if you change it a hundred thousand liters for this little thing and it's under a hundred thousand dollars so if you got a lot of cows this is fantastic as a little mixing vehicle We've got this tractor, which has become my recent favorite tractor. This is the one I've been using the most uh, when I'm playing unrealistically. This is the John Deere um, by uh, Ridiculous Dominic. This thing's got almost 900 horsepower. It goes over 90 miles per hour. And you can get these ridiculously large wheels on this thing. Just look at how crazy this is. It drives like a go-kart. It is fantastic. Also comes in the mod with an Unreal bucket. The Unreal bucket here has a standard capacity of 1,000 liters or an unrealistic of 20,000 liters for a bucket. This thing here is a mod that is for a uh, 
telehandler. And this will, it looks like it's just regular pallet forks, but it's got straps on it. So you can actually pick up anything that's strappable. So we'll use this real quick and I'll just show you what I mean. This tractor here is a case model that just came out. Notice the ridiculous waist. This also has over 900 or just about 900 horsepower. Bad things happen guys sometimes. One second. All right, sorry about that. We had it in the wrong configuration, but here we go. We've got that fixed. Uh, what's cool about this tractor, not only is it ridiculously powerful, it goes 42 miles per hour. We'll do almost any job in 42 miles per hour as well. But this fork that, or this uh, front loader that comes with it can be set up to use telehandler tools or wheel loader tools or front loader or anything along those lines. Now, because this has straps, you can uh, put it over pretty much anything and see how it doesn't affect that. That's good because the straps are on top. But what if you were to put them underneath like it was a trailer? Well, now I'll just bring that with me wherever. Just kind of put that there. You get the point. Maybe don't pick up a ridic another ridiculous tractor, but if you pick up something a little bit smaller, you can pick up vehicles and move them around. You can pick up anything that is strappable to a trailer. It's fantastic. This here is another uh, ridiculous weight front bucket. This is over 20,000 liters. This thing is a monster. Here we have the tree devourer, painted it in highlighter pink. What this thing will do is you drive up to any tree that you own and it will turn the tree into wood chips instantly. It'll store many thousand liters of them and it will also put them into a trailer if you have it instantly. This thing here, and you'll see if you have precision farming. Now usually in precision farming you have that very little circle that shows up on the map. Well this comes in multiple different sizes. This is the uh, Izara Scout. And this thing can come in up to an extra, extra large, which will pretty much cover uh, most of the map in one pass. So what that means is I can put that thing down here, take one sample, and we'll do this entire field, as well as the next field next to it. Last few mods we've got down here, we've got the TLX 2020, real unrealistic uh, forge here so this only does forage this will do like grass and things along those lines but it's an unrealistic capacity we've got the brand new one that just came out the 1982 this thing has the ability to have uh, some tanks so you can have an unrealistic tank here which has uh, 50,000 liters you can have this body here which has 82,000 liters and then these trailers come with these packages as well. And these trailers can have uh, increased capacity as well in the 80s. So this is a trailed version of this tank. So that is a 50,000 liter tank. We have also with the 2020, um, that, that back, you know, it can tow all of these different variants here, which is fantastic. So then we have the 30, or the, 3500. 3500 has this body here, which gives us the ability to have uh, 108,000 liters back of the truck. So you take this, you take one of those trailers over there, you put it in bumper pull configuration, and you're towing 300,000 liters plus with one of these trucks. They also have a tank. The tank has a 50,000 liter capacity. Now the Jeep, which I've used in a lot of videos, the Jeep has the ability to have an unreal capacity here as well. With the unreal capacity, it holds 100,000 liters in the Jeep. Now the way this thing works is, I'll just show you real quick. We'll just use uh, easy dev controls just to fill it up. We'll just put we in it. You'll see what happens here is it puts it into these little compressed containers and you can transport them where 
wherever you want. Now, if you're over a sell point, you can drop them normally, or if you make the mistake that I do all the time and just unload here, especially with the cover closed, um, it will just unload them into pallets, as you can see. So you can just do this and just really have a lot of pallets in front of your field if you really want to. All right. So that's it for the vehicle mods. Let's talk about this monster back here. This looks like a regular silage pit, a regular bunker, bunker that you would use. But what's annoying about bunkers is you gotta keep driving and reversing over them to get everything where you need to. Well, what if you had a button that said open here and when you hit that, it transforms into a drive over pit. So now what you can do is you can use this ramp and you can drive over and just tip as you want while driving over this. You don't have to drive over all that silage anymore. When you're ready to compact it, all you gotta do is open it up and then you can just compact it with whatever vehicle you want to. But you don't have to drive like your forage harvesters or anything else along those over all of that. It's just fantastic. You just drive it right over the grades. Uh, here we have the Cookie Factory. And this is one of a few mods that uh, give you, and I just wanted to use one as an example, an unreal recipe. So what this thing will do is it'll give you an advanced working uh, recipe that basically is just sped up ridiculously so that you can see you have many more cycles per month and you'll get way more output out of this thing. We have the Unreal Milk Production. This one is also sped up. So this dairy here is called Cheaty and you'll see it's got 4,800 cycles per month of this. So if you can produce crazy butter, or you've got 12,000 cycles of cheese, 24,000 cycles of chocolate, 24,000 cycles of raw milk. With these, these mods, they give you a real version and an unreal version. So if you put this version down, you basically can get ridiculous output out of this. Now, then we've got the mobile cell points. We've got this little itty bitty trailer here. It looks like one of the the, uh, the containers from the Platinum DLC. This thing holds logs, so you can actually put logs in it for storage. This is a table saw that we can pick up and we can move wherever we want and sell wood wherever. So instead of bringing the trees into the lumber mill, bring the lumber mill to the trees. We've got this little cart here, which will take any type of crop and we can sell those in it. And just tip it right into it. We've got a bale trigger here that can sell any bale. So again, you don't even have to transport the stuff off the field. You can bring these to the field, put them in the back of a truck, strap them in, drive them over to the field and you're good to go. And what video of Unreal would be complete without mentioning the government subsidiary and the munitionary, I'm never gonna be able to say it. The subsidized mods. What these things do is, all you gotta do is just put this sign down anywhere on the map, and it gives you crazy capacities. So take a look here real quick. They're under generators. You get, for the government version, you get $8,400,000 a month. So you put, for each one. So if you just wanna make crazy money and you're on console, just so that you can mess around with every single vehicle in the game. Put down like six of these and then just sleep through the night to the next month. You'll have crazy money. If you wanna play a little bit less ridiculous, you can do the municipal and what this will allow you to do is basically just kind of offset the cost of certain things that maybe you feel you shouldn't have to pay for um, or something to that effect. And that's it guys, I will do another video later talking more about these in detail, but I wanted to give you a high level view of just how crazy things have gotten. And if you want to, you can play the game as fast as you want, or as crazy as you want. And I'm gonna be honest with you, there are many times when I play it unrealistically, especially if I'm playing by myself and I'm just trying to get a bunch of things done 
very quickly. Oh, wait, 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 forgot to mention, for the PC folks, we've got a few script mods. The first one that I wanna talk about here is easy dev controls that I was using before. Easy dev controls allows you to just cheat in money, to start flying, to change your time scales. It allows you to just basically turn on super strength, increase your jump multiplier. Actually, let's try that real quick. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> You just jump over the entire field now. It allows you to turn on and off third person camera like I was using here. To turn off your markers, change your visuals, make your player run super fast. Turn that one on real quick. And just kind of coast across the map there. It'll allow you to just spawn things. So if you want to just spawn a bunch of grass bales, you can. Or what about bigger grass bales? Or what about cotton bales. Let's just throw some cotton bales in here. You can just spawn as many things as you want. You can spawn in logs. Let's put some ridiculous logs in. You can fill trailers with this thing too. There's another thing that I like. So let's find something that's got a capacity on it. Yeah. Let's fill this up. So this thing apparently takes everything, which is balls but i know it takes silage but yeah it's full same deal if you have something in it that you don't want in there anymore you can just get rid of it it's fantastic you can also adjust your fields which i'll do real quick so this field here will let's turn on some things here so this way we can you guys can see so, uh, yeah, field info. So this is cotton right now. Well, let's say I don't actually want to wait for that to, to load. Let's go ahead and make that cotton and ready to harvest. And we'll make it 100%. We'll believe that we plowed it. Don't need to roll it, no stones. And yeah, we'll confirm. And there we go. Now we're in cotton, ready to harvest. Well, what if I don't like cotton? Let's make it sugar cane. It's all ready to go. That's easy dev. More power mod, which I've had on this whole time, doubles the value. It, you, there's no visuals to it whatsoever. Once you install the mod, all it does is it just doubles the power on everything legitimately doubles so what that means is you can tow crazy things with any vehicle um, including basically you could take the smallest tractor and run the biggest implement with it nitro mod this one's kind of fun um, you know it just so happens we have a ramp over there let's see what happens so for the nitro mod uh, this one is hard coded to special key binding and basically what happens is you hit control enter and then you line up and you just hold down the space bar you see the flame come off the back and you'll see this thing just kind of go thousands of miles per hour it basically the way that it works is it keeps doubling your uh, speed and power every time that every second that the button is pressed ridiculous Real speed limit mod. Real speed limit mod allows you to do is if you have something where it has a working speed, which hold on one second, I'll set that. Okay, so if you have something that has a working speed on it already, so we'll take this plow for example, get that unfolded, see just how ridiculous this thing is. We'll just kind of set that down there and you'll see here it goes 16. well what if i want to use all the power of my tractor so basically what you do is you hit alt zero and it removes that restriction so now you can just kind of plow the whole field at whatever the tractor can do 
So it's not necessarily the max speed of the tractor, but it's the max speed that the tractor can pull that in. It's pretty wild. Now, uh, there is another mod that's very similar to that, which is called the just working speed. Now, just, just working speed, when you have that on, on PC, um, you are given the option to change the working speed. So by default, this thing has a 15 mile per hour working speed. You can bring it down, or sorry, it has a nine by default. Um, so you can bring it down further if you choose to, or you can go from nine and you can go up. So if you're not taking off that speed limit completely, but you just want to bump it up a little bit, the adjust working speed mod is fantastic for that. Last one I want to talk about, so that you don't end up with wavy lines like this, we have enhanced vehicle controls. And this is the GPS mod that is in the bottom right there. There are two ways of doing this. There is the base version, or the base easy way, which is you just kind of line it up where you want. You hit the controls and you'll notice that it locks into that. And now I'm not going to steer. I'm just going to uh, drive here. And you'll see that I put the plow down. It will just drive straight. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna actually be on cruise control and I'm not even gonna touch anything here. I put the controller down. It'll just keep driving straight. It'll never come off of that. The additional way that you can do this, if you want to, if you've done your headlands already, which headlands are very important. If you've done your headlands already, uh, you can set it to do a headland mode, which what that means is it'll remember the offset. So for example, if I did this, which is, there we go. And I'm gonna set it into headland mode and we'll drop it and do the same thing here. I'm gonna let this do its thing. It's gonna go all the way to the end. Now, assuming the field is straight, it'll do it perfectly straight there. Once it gets to the other headland, if you want it to, you can have it either automatically turn or you can turn it yourself. But now when I lock it in again, watch what happens. It'll actually find where it's supposed to go. And it'll line it up perfectly for me. So I don't even have to worry about missing a bit or overlapping. It's basically gonna save me time because I'm not taking that time to line everything up here. I can just basically do what I gotta do. And it will, it'll find its spot. It'll find its home and it'll go figure it out for me. Fantastic. All right, that's it for all of the mods. Uh, just one last tip. That's why you don't harvest at full speed. Uh, one last tip I wanna tell you guys too, it, whatever you're doing, uh, especially if you are using workers with some of this stuff, it's all gonna work really well as long as you do your headlands. So always, when you're doing a field of any type of thing, plowing, harvesting, anything along those lines, as long as you do your headlands, which are basically you do two passes around the outside of the entire field before you do your ups and downs, your worker will be able to do that stuff for you. And I'll show you real quick what I mean before we end here. Thanks. And now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda line up here with this and we'll set our worker off. I'm just gonna offset it to what I think is the end of the field there. Set my circle and just let them ride. And when you do it this way, what ends up happening is they know where the edge of where they have to harvest is. And so they know to turn around there. Whereas if I had done it without the headlands, he would have hit this pole back here. So we'll let him ride. Now, if they miss a little bit, no big deal. You can come back up and clean that up. But the big trick is while he's doing that, I could go do something else. And there you have it. So thank you all for your time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you do, please give a like, subscribe. Lots more content coming on this channel. 